Well, I just start. I'm starting to make little boxes for these guys with um, little cheetah print towels folded up about six times. You know how I'm doing these boxes? I'm just um, there. They are right there. That's that's Onyx there on the right. There's Dixie right there going under the car. There's Onyx. He's running around, huh? It's gonna be your little house right there. All you do is take some truck bed lining, and it's under the carport, way under the carport. But say it gets slightly wet. Truck bed lining isn't gonna when it's on that cardboard. It's not gonna mess nothing up. So you got a little place to freaking. So when you go in your box, you're gonna have a cheetah print. All <laughs> right, you're gonna have cheetah print. So I'll start doing those one every day. Run out of time, man. <laughs> by the way, I'm gonna get a. I am gonna get a couple of five by eight flags instead of the uh, four by six. That I'm flying right now, and uh, I'm gonna measure out. What do you call those? Uh, it's like a, it's like a muffler clamp, basically. That it's about this long. It's like a um, stainless steel one. And what we're gonna do is, what we're gonna do is uh, use it for like the paracord. Um, and triangulize the uh, flagpole more. Like in other words, do, 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 do. <laughs> you see, I got the ropes right here. Well, I'm gonna have it come from maybe another one up from about that high, coming down this way, and inside the fence, I'm gonna have uh, some steel bracing up this way so it doesn't flex in this way and you can tighten it up from up there this way you know I already think this flagpole is strong enough because it's steel it's not aluminum but if I have it not just braced down here but also say right about up there you won't notice it much because it's just gonna be paracord and um, it'll uh, you know, it's blocked by this six-foot privacy fence anyway, so you barely notice it. So, I'm going to put a bigger flag on there. I'm going to get them some Rebel Nation right now. They're only 20 bucks a pop for the 5 by 8s They're like half price, so we'll get them. You see them guys? <laughs> That's poisoned. There's Dixie right there. It's Dixie on the right. There's paws. You can see paws, little white paws. And there's Onyx right there. So... Pretty, you know, very rarely I ever see them go out of the yard. I get worried if they do that, but since everything's fenced in, they really don't go anywhere. There's Dixie right there. See, you know, going up there by the tree. But there's a fence right there, so normally they stay within the perimeter because everything's uh, fenced in. Most of it's a privacy fence. That's uh, Dixie's little green eyes you could see. <laughs> see the little boogers? So hopefully it'll be okay outside. I'm going to start, you know, I got plans to make something like a cat condo for them. But in the meantime, I'm going to go down to Walmart and get some of those, uh, I don't know, five, six bucks a pop. They're like uh, like a big towel. It's like, a, I don't know if it's like a blanket or a towel. Um, they're like a cheetah print. And I can fold them up like six times over. And then truck bed line, you know, uh, several of those boxes. Some will, they'll be under the carport, under the bench, on top of the stairs, whatever, and put the cheetah print blanket in there. Then every once in a while, I could just take all the cheetah print blankets out of there, wash them all at once, and put them back in there. And this way, I don't think the cardboard will rot out from any kind of like moisture or anything like that because it's going to be all truck bed lined. It's not going to be in the weather, so you know. But I know the cardboard will disintegrate after a while from something but not with the truck bed lining it's gonna kind of work like uh, plastic or something you know so and the other thing is too I think they still get the uh, healing frequencies through the earth with that still <laughs> onyx is big see how big he is he's like sometimes they almost confuse him the only way Sometimes I, I recognize him right away because his tail isn't as fluffy as his mom, Feather. But, uh, anyway. 
boots out here mowing lawns and stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> Busy day, man. Busy day. It's like, uh, hopefully I'm going to take this bike out a little bit. Maybe get a little video clip of it riding around at night and see if uh, it picks up any sound with the uh, windshield up. Because normally I just get nothing but uh, wind noise. There they are. It's a little Dixie down there. And there's, there's Poise. People stay in a freaking yard, man. So that's the front of my yard there, and there's a, there's a, well, nobody really drives down that road, but still, I don't want them going down there. Yeah, no, you don't. Sometimes they stay up here. As long as they don't go in a... <laughs> Anyway, I don't know where Mama Cat is. She's around. I think she's in the back. Sleeps on the chair. There's Mama Cat. Jesus, what'd she do? She just ran up the tree. It's like she was chasing after something. Oh, boots. <laughs> you okay, Bootsy? You coming by? That's when she fucking ran. <laughs> she ran up the tree. That's a little fucking day. He's a, he's a little curious, dude. What are you doing, Boots? Huh? What are you doing, man? He's looking for her. <laughs> See, now they're out. You're going out there. Hmm. It's Daddy, huh? Kids running after them. <laughs> See what happens when you got kids' boots? They all running after you. <laughs> He's gonna go for the. There he is, going on top of the car. He knows where his meow meow food is. <laughs> so what he usually does. He comes by here. He says, "Right? Mm hmm. Right? Good guy, huh?" Meow, 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 meow. Huh? That's what you come here for, is food, right? You know where your food is. Your flavor bursts. He's got his wet stuff down here, too. Should be some left. Yeah. Hmm. Right, boo-boo? The kids are bothering you, huh? They're running all over you. That's why she ran up the tree. <laughs> maybe, I don't know, maybe she's... There she is. There she is. See? Right there. <laughs> she's fucking running. She's playing with her kids, man. That's what the hell she's doing. She's playing with her kids. She's having fun with her kids. They're running after her, see? Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Crazy little mommy. What are you doing, huh? <laughs> yeah, so I'll go back to the 5x8 flag. It's not going to take too much. I'm just going to go on Rock Auto and order, I forget what you call those. They're like a band type muffler clamp. They're like a few inches wide. There's like, they're stainless steel. They got two big bolts in them. Just enough to go around where that, uh, uh, flagpole is going to attach to uh, where I'm going to attach the paracord to and uh, do a four point connection you know north, south, east, west whatever you want to call it better than a tripod so it want to be about I don't know maybe 12 feet up where it's reinforcing it so I don't think with that I doubt that pole's going to it's going to bend because normally it bends near the bottom, or actually right where it's planted in the ground. I, I don't. I think that pole's strong enough as it is because it's steel; it's not aluminum. But the way I'm going to be doing it, and then where I attach the paracord to the fence, like you know, the top rail, 
I'll put um, like a 45 degree brace with one of those, um, what do you call it, I'll show you what I mean, one of these things here, except a longer one, where that's braced up against the fence top post, and then so if it's pulling at, this will be on an angle like that, so if that piece up here is pulling towards the cord, is pulling towards the pole, it's going to be like rock solid. Actually, I think it'll be hurricane proof, to be truth. <laughs> so, that's a dirt cheap way of doing it instead of buying a pole. And I'm probably, I'm going to probably uh, sign up for a lifetime member of a, a, a Sons of Confederate Veterans. Although, if I wait, I mean, not even two years, I could get to the big discount because I'd be 65. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know. I could freaking, I'll get, I'm gonna do it now because it's kind of like, I don't mind paying the money because it's not, it's, uh, it just be more money going into them where, where they need it. So, they're the good guys, man. <laughs> so, I'll probably be, I'm gonna be doing, I just gotta find out where I send it to. I already got the form. I was trying to call them up, see where the hell do I send this thing to? So, anyway. Right, Bootsy? Yeah? Boom, 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 boom. Got a springboard. Yeah, I still got to put the wires in this thing, man. I'm like, it runs fine. I mean, it's just got to do the wires and the timing. It's just so many projects. It's ridiculous. So. <laughs> There's Poppy Cat. There's Mama Cat. There's Boots. There's Paws right there. You saw the other two that are around here someplace. Here's uh, Onyx. Dixie's around here somewhere. Just saw a Dixie. Oh, where the hell? You know, these things, they hide. <laughs> right, Bootsy? You doing okay, buddy? <laughs> this is Meow Meow House here. As you know. Here's a little flag. Boots the Rebel Cat. Got Rebel Pride up there. We boots the Confederate Cat. Roy Gwen General Lee Drive. And Dixie Motor Oil. He's a mechanic guy. Right? You sweetie pie, aren't you? Huh? Yeah? I'm shining the light down so it's not right in your eyes, okay? Is that cool? So people can see you, right? <laughs> yeah. So all the meow meows are fine. Oh, Dixie, still, he just saw Dixie just a freaking minute ago. He's around here somewhere. Well, we're going to set up some of these. I'll have, probably set them up. You know, I'll probably get these blankets here tonight. And tomorrow, I'll truck bed line that box and another box. And then after they dry, we'll put the blankets in them. And Maybe two more, three more boxes, three more. So, if they happen to get a little wet, the cardboard's not going to get screwed up with that truck bed lining. All right, here's Dixie. There, see? Dixie and Paws, those two hang out a lot. They pair off in Mama and Onyx. And look at Onyx and Mama. Onyx is getting pretty close to the size of Mama. And there's Papa up there. Hey, Papa. Papa Cat. <laughs> There's our flag. The flag of peace, hope, and freedom. <laughs> Gonna put a little slightly bigger. It will be a bigger one. It's not, it's got, you know what? I just figured out a way to do it cheaper. I was, I was looking at flagpoles and I says, I don't know if I want to, you know, gotta freaking have it delivered. It's like almost 500 bucks for the delivery if you get like a hurricane proof one. It'll only be three or four feet higher. For a 30 footer, footer. and uh, the way I'm going to do it, <laughs> it's going to, it's probably going to be just as strong anyway. Because once you triangularize, actually it's quadrupleize, you know, four point contact. See that? She's still a mommy. She's a mommy. <laughs> She's a sweetheart. So, that's good. 
By the time I upload this, there'll probably be someplace else I can pull the bike out because it's right behind that thing. <laughs> right behind a Roscoe P. Coltrane for sheriff. That, that wards off the, the booger, the bad guys. Roscoe, we got Roscoe out there guarding my bike. <laughs> oh, look at that. Poison and Dixie aren't so scared of me now, right? Usually they, they run away unless they're eating. See, they're realizing playing with mama's tail. Ray right, mama. Boots. Boots the big lion hanging out on the El Camino, right? <laughs> He's a Confederate cat, so he's hanging out on a Confederate license plate 78 El Camino. Right, buddy? You're the dude, man. You got the American Eagle back there behind you, too. You're a proud lion, I can tell. You're a good guy, Boots. <laughs>